Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, how are you doing today? That's one of my biggest questions today. I wanted to know, do you know how you feel? Yesterday, I did a post on my story, and it says, sometimes uh, the people who used to know you from long to go, a long time ago may not recognize you today. And that is, where are you in life? Have you transformed? Are you, have you changed? Have you changed drastically? Have you changed places? Have you changed friendships, school, whatever it is? But what is the impact that has had on your life and who you are? If you don't know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. By trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant and specializing in women's wellness. Today, I want to talk to you about a program, one of my programs that is uh, already in in the works and it's been working. Uh, a lot of people who come to me, to a especially to a hypnotherapist, especially to me, when they come, they come in feeling powerless, feeling anxious. Well, I like to call it, they feel in pain. There's some kind of a pain. And so the entire thing is to take them from this pain point to a place that they feel mm, so much better. So I developed this program called From Pain to Gain. And today I wanna to talk to you about the first segment, which is the P, from pain to gain. We're gonna be talking, discussing the pain. And I might even propose some questions to you. So what does it mean to be in pain? I like to share with you when I talk about pain and feeling powerless and going from pain to gain, I believe that coming through that hardship prepares ordinary people, just like you and me, for an extraordinary destiny. We are destined in life to move forward. We never go backwards, right? So as Les Brown said, too many of us are not living our dreams because we are stuck and living our fears. So I want to, for you to take a setback, and, not a setback, but take a moment to realize where you are, how do you feel? So feeling powerless means that 46% and we're talking about 46% of Americans say they feel out of control and powerless in their life's choices. We're talking about that's pre-COVID. And after COVID, that number of 46 has come up to 57%, not feeling in control. And the national survey found that 80%, 82% of women regularly uh, or sometimes feel insecure in their relationship and 74 percent of men would rather know that people respect them than love them they rather be respected than loved so when we are talking about powerless is how do we come to go from to be powerless is being without influence, feeling I have no control over my life. And it's commonly mistaken for feeling hopeless and helpless. So I'm Lisa Bubari and this is the 3E event. Journey within and harness your inner power. September 30th, October 1st at the Western Rancho Mirage Resort and Spa. Get your tickets today at the3eevent.com. So 
is there any part of your life that right now you may feel I'm out of control? It could be a habit uh, that you want to change and you can't get out of it. I just got a call half an hour ago. Uh, this beautiful lady who found me on Yelp and she was like saying um, at my last wit I'm going through a divorce uh, the kids with the school and everything and I feel that my life has been turned upside down I can't find myself and yet when she asked about my fees, she says, oh, I can't afford that. And then she goes into tears. So I understand that because it can be difficult to overcome feeling this powerlessness, this helplessness, because when we are stuck in there, when you may be stuck in that place of I don't know what to do I can't get out of this and I see no I see no door I see no hope um, you feel as if you are stripped by your ability to feel in control that's when I step in you know the work that I do some say you're like a disruptor I disrupt the mindset and I like to call it when we shift our mindset from the core is a shift that you may have not seen and we with a small little change tapping into your subconscious mind or sometimes it doesn't even have to be that deep of a work sometimes all you have to do is see another version and you find another door that opens you know instead of banging on the same door turn around and there is a window and all you have to do is open that window the glimpse of hope and when you find that when you see it you realize I'm no longer powerless okay and so there's two things to consider when you feel powerless one is what you can control and another is what is outside of your control so what I do is I guide you so that you stop giving away your power that you find your control whatever it is that needs to be taken care of becoming powerless doesn't happen just like that it's not this one relationship and what she said is like I'm sick and tired of uh, falling into the same um, same rut of attracting the same man and finding the same men who are not good for me and there's something needs to be changed yes it's not about them it's always about you the same thing as my other client yesterday in his in this relationship yes I see both men and women so to me it doesn't matter when we are in that feeling of I need to make that change but I need help so it could be consciously subconsciously as a clinical hypnotherapist I may do the hypnosis for you to tap into the subconscious for you to make the massive shift and yet as an action coach what I do is also just for you to see the patterns recognize the patterns that's why we call it the evoke evoking what was so it's like recognizing the patterns that you have created for yourself for whatever reason and you may feel powerless but it was a comfort zone I know you might turn around and say why would anyone put themselves in that kind of a situation and call it a comfort zone well I may have said this story before 
but um, Jim Rohn also talks about this story. And if you don't know who Jim Rohn is, please Google. He's like the master of the master in uh, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, and I've mentioned that book many times. So Jim Rohn is talking about the story that apparently someone goes to talk to the guru and have a interview with a guru. So as he's sitting there interviewing the guru and talking to the guru, he's immersed in his talk and he recognizes on the side that there is uh, the guru's dog is right there at, at the foot of the chair moaning and groaning like oof, oof, right the way dogs do and with anyone else they would like pet the dog or check and see what's going on right and after a while the guru's not paying attention he keeps looking at the guru they talk and then again he diverts his attention to the dog and then to a point that after a few times the guru says what's going on what is distracting you he says your dog your dog is moaning and groaning and has been right there he says yes his sitting on a needle, I mean, uh, a, um, a nail. There was a nail at, on the wood and he's sitting on it. And he says, but aren't you gonna do anything about it? He says, apparently it's not hurting bad enough. So why am I saying this story? Because it's a process that for most people, the process is so gradual, just like the frog. If you dump a frog in a hot water, it will do all the splash and everything and leap out. But if you put a frog in a cool water or a um, lukewarm water and very gently turn the fire underneath it and it, the water starts boiling and boiling, the frog will remain there, unfortunately, until it boils. There are so many ways that I can explain that being and feeling powerless seems like an easy way to be protected, to be accepted, I'm like, I feel helpless, I can't do anything, please, you take care of it. And by doing that, when we say stop giving your power away, means take ownership. Take ownership of your own pain. Take ownership of what is the problem. Take ownership, and once you start chipping away, peeling away the layers of why you feel I don't deserve or I feel helpless and you come to own your self-worth that's when you find you're taking more control you can breathe better you can find a sense of freedom and there is an answer um, so in my program I talk about Stop giving your power for others to feel better. And recognize, you can even write, you can create a, 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 a column on a piece of paper. I would put a column and say, where in my life or in my relationships or in my work, in my job, with my children, with my partner, with my lover, with my family, with my um, parents, whatever it is, where do I feel lack thereof? Where do I feel I'm out of control? Or it could be even finances or health. And on the other column, I want you to write, here's the problem. This is where I feel lack thereof or helpless or out of control. And what can I do 
what is it that I want on your second column? What do I want? This is how I want to feel. And on your third column, what actions can I take to get here? What actions do I need to take? What can I do to feel differently? What can I do to make the change at home, at work, with my finances? You know, one of the things about finances is just like her, we say, I can't afford. But what is it that you can't afford? Can you afford feeling helpless? Can you afford feeling out of control? Can you afford constantly what with, with her was like, I don't sleep more than two hours. Well, can you afford being sleepless? Can you afford being angry and with that anxiety and sleeplessness and still cope with your children and everything else in your life? So when you take power in your hand, and you do this three columns. Where am I? What do I want? How can I get there? And if you say, I don't know the ways, then call me. Call me. Let's see what are your blocks. What is standing in, in your way sometimes? You may be in a cage with the key in your pocket and not realizing. All I have to do is unlock and walk out because I think I can't or I'm in fear stop worrying and when I say stop worrying because so many of us rather be stuck in this worry worth instead of taking the action so and the last thing that I would like to say is establish a core self like what gives you a sense of power if today just for today good morning just for today you were to make one change in your life just one change what change would you make what change can you make in the next hour if you have to say, okay, I feel so anxious, what is the one change you can make? Hi, Claudia, how are you? Is to say, I can start writing this down. Or you can turn around and say, I've been writing and writing and writing, and all I can think of is the problems. Well, what if you turn around and say, here's the problems, what is it that I desire? What is it that I choose in my life? This is my dream. This is my desire. And what is the one thing I can do today or in the next hour? Just one thing. And it comes from gratitude. Today, this is where I am. Oh, start with one change. Thank you, Lisa. You were a calm. Hi, Robert. How are you? Um, one change in our life, one spark, one glitter. So when I was talking to her and when she said, I can't afford you, and I said, that's fine. You can't right now. By tonight, I want you to think, what is it that you cannot not afford? What is it that you want in your life? And I guarantee you, because of the work that I do, after 22 years, you know, my expertise has developed that not only as a hypnotherapist and stress management, anger management, those certificates doesn't really matter. I treat you as a whole because you might be in this abusive cycle and sometimes we don't realize what is the cycle inside our head? And if I can give you a glimpse of a freedom to shed a light so you can shed a tear, 
a tear of self-confidence and self-acceptance and self-appreciation to see that glimpse of hope that light that you are and come from fear to can come from fear to freedom in your mind in your heart and I guarantee you if you have this residual pain that constantly just travels in your body you will begin to heal that too so heal within is not a magic is a choice I transformed over 25 years ago by healing my ovarian cyst by healing and left a very good paying position as an assistant to attorney to do the work that I do and every single morning I wake up and I say I am grateful who can I serve today because truly the work that I do is of service so feeling powerless take your power back yes stay in tune because my program my offer is coming to light next month and if you have not ladies if you have not already registered do yourself a favor register for the 3 eeventcom and if you think a glimpse of what I say right here is powerful wait until you are immersed in a two-day healing immersing yourself with powerful speakers who will give you tools and techniques to take you from this level to another level healing exercises that we're going to be doing and then not only you're in a five-star hotel but at night on the first day we're going to go to the lawn on the green lawn that beautiful place under the stars and we're going to do the sound bath healing this two days is a two day of transformation and if that is what you desire and you want this for you and for your family because when you feel good they feel good when they start feeling good you smile most of my clients say Lisa the work that I have been doing with you I didn't realize it's affecting my children and they're calmer too yes because everything is energy you are energy when you feel better they feel better so let's shift the cycle of downwards just like a lotus upwards I look forward to coming to you to your home for you to come in here either in person via zoom or my arms will be open to give you a hug when we are together and until then God bless you. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Claudia. And every one of you who watches these episodes, subscribe, share, and I thank you. God bless you and look forward to seeing you next week. May the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.